Well, Storm Team 4 Chief Meteorologist Dave Mazza is in mm -hmm. because we want to know what our weekend's going to be Here like. Well. It is going to be awesome because it's the weekend. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weather is not going to be so awesome because it's January. <laughs> but, uh, you know, tomorrow's not going to be a bad day all in all. We're going to see some improving weather tomorrow. We're already starting to see those uh, snow showers starting to taper off across our area, which is good news. You notice most of the activity still off towards the north and east. Got some snow showers up into Coshocton County and most of that kind of sliding off the lakes this evening. But as the winds start to subside a bit, we are starting to see those flurries tapering off. Now, outside this evening on the Winter Nation Tower camera, you can see pretty looking shot downtown in Columbus. It is a cool looking shot, though, because temperatures are dropping out there. Most of us are back into the lower to middle 30s at this hour. We've dropped a couple of degrees from the evening hours. We're down to 34 is our current reading in the city. That's as cold as we have been all day long. You notice our wind speeds generally running between the uh, single digits to about 14 miles an hour. Still the breezy spot here in the city. So wind chills are a factor still tonight in the middle 20s. But again, with the air temperatures dropping a bit, winds also dropping. The wind chills have basically been steady most of the day today. And as we head through the overnight hours tonight, I think with less wind by morning, it's not going to be a bad start for January tomorrow morning. You notice our humidity is high at 75%. So I do expect a gentle drop in temperatures through the rest of the night tonight, as most of us are going to be bottoming off in the middle to upper 20s to start the morning off and the weekend off on Saturday. So cloud cover still kind of thick across the area. You'll notice a few breaks in the clouds as we head towards the daybreak hour tomorrow morning, and then we see clouds kind of thickening back up. So I think we'll have a mix of clouds turning to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day tomorrow. Temperatures should be pretty much near normal, a mid upper 30s for most of us tomorrow afternoon with a lot less wind, so it will feel a little bit warmer. And then as we head into the day on Sunday, we are going to be watching as snow showers start to move into our area by daybreak to the north and west and then spread across our region as we start to see some of uh, that little bit of warmer air trying to sneak in and that will change it from wet snow to possibly some colder rain later in the afternoon. So we'll keep our eyes on that part of the forecast. If you've got outdoor plans, the better of the two weekend days definitely going to be on Saturday. So tonight, middle to upper 20s for overnight lows. That's above normal. This is a normal night where uh, temperature should be the lower 20s this time of the year. So we are going to be about 7 degrees above normal to start the day tomorrow. It is going to be a slow go again. I mean, it is January, so you're going to need that winter coat out the door tomorrow morning. We'll see numbers back up to 30 by 9 a.m. May get some use out of the sunglasses during the mornings. We'll get to 35 by noon with an afternoon high of 38 degrees. We're not going to be much chillier on Sunday, but again, with snow showers around and wet uh, cold rain showers it is obviously they're wet because rain showers are wet we'll see temperatures uh, feeling a little bit cooler at 37 degrees sunday we'll get up to 39 on monday a little bit of sunshine peaks back in on tuesday up to 42 and then we are going to be watching our next weather system that'll be coming in for the middle of next week that is going to bring some rain showers initially and then changing over to snow showers by late in the day on wednesday as that colder air starts to move back in behind it i do expect to see that familiar pattern behind the cold fronts as we'll start to see flurries blowing around on Thursday. That'll keep afternoon highs right around 33. And unfortunately, as we head into Friday of next week, it is still going to remain on the cooler side at about 31. This seven day forecast looks a lot more typical for the month of January. All right.